In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four rectangular options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here the first option comes. You can add the option number here with some different color. Then you can put your title, detail text and some icon and again at the bottom you can add the border of the same color. And then you can see here I have added some shadow effect also. When I click, it will show me with different color. The second one, the third and the fourth and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this however with the older version also you can do it easily so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background. Then go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle depending on your requirement. Maybe this much size shape outline. I'm going to make it white and then go to the weight and increase the weight to maybe three points or uh, four quarter points. And then shape fill, you can give some light color which is matching with the background. You can see here like this one. And then I want to add some shadow here. For that, press Ctrl D to duplicate this one. Shape outline, I'm going to make it no outline. And shape fill, I'm going to make it black. Then increase the size, the height and width. And then right mouse click, go to format shapes. Increase the transparency. You can see here, maybe you can increase to 70 or 80%. Then go to the effects, soft adjust. Increase the soft edges here all right you can see here something like this and then this one we need to send this to back and then i'm going to increase the size a little bit more and here i can increase the transparency to maybe 80 or 85 percent or 90 percent also and then send this to back all right so you can see here something like this effect it has been created now i'm going to add one more rectangle to add the option number go to rectangles draw the rectangle maybe this much size you can see here put it down shape outline no outline shape fill you can give any color of your choice all right let me just zoom in i'm going to increase the size here maybe this much size which is outside all right and then i'm going to add one right triangle go to insert shapes select the right triangle draw the right triangle something like this shape outline no outline shape will give the same color and go to more colors and increase the you can see here the shade darker more darker and click ok and then go to rotate you can make it flip vertical and then flip horizontal so you end up getting something like this all right and then just send this to back all right so you can see here we got a shape something like this and here you can add the option number for example i'm going to type 01 center align make it bold make it white and increase the size all right so it should be visible so you can see here it's 01 then go to insert text box i'm going to type title here again this also center align make it bold and if you want to change the font you can change it to open sans or any font size of your choice all right and then let me just align it particular in the center go to sorry go to center go to insert text box and i'm going to type add detail text here you can give some light color center aligned reduce the size and put it here exactly in the center and then if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can go to the icons and add any icon of your choice so let me just add some icons here uh, you need to have the internet connection it's taking some time today so let's wait for that and once you select that one then you can insert it so i'm just going to select this one click insert and put it here in the center here 
see here something like this now my one design is okay so i'm just going to select all hold the press ctrl shift key together this is my second one again this is my third one and again if you want you can make it a fourth one also but the problem is you can see here we don't have the space right in this case what you can do is you can select all press ctrl a to select all press ctrl g to group it then hold the shift key and reduce the size and you can put it in the center something like this and then ungroup this all right so now it's easy for me i'm going to just change the color of this go to format you can give any color of your choice you can see here whichever color you feel better you can just add that color and here also you can give some dark colors all right so whatever color which you feel you can just add it more dark or for example click the same color go to colors more colors increase the shape that's it so you can see here this is one this is two this is three and this is four and then you can just change the icons according to your requirement and when this is done i can select all of this you can see here let me just select and make sure that this should not be selected from the second option and press ctrl g to group it all right so now i'm just going to select the second one press ctrl g do something like this you can see here press ctrl g and then i'm selecting this and if you want to do some animation effects you can add some for example let me just select this one close the uh, uh, close the format go to the animations animation pane add animation you can select maybe fly in so it comes like this or if you want some different directions also you can just select like that whatever depending on your requirement